cheated on me on Christmas, so I did this. Get your and get the f out. What? Get the f out. Get your sh and get the f out. For what? Get the f not. Who who is Zoe? Who? Zoe. I don't know. Zoe, you stop playing that. The dude already showed me the message. I'm I'm on it. Just be I don't real. know Zoe. What are you talking about? You don't know Zoe. So if I hit him up, you you not gonna know him. My coworker. Oh yeah, now now you remember him. <laughs> Welcome to the S Banks and the JD Network podcast. I'm your host, S Banks, and I'm joined with my co-host, the JD Network. And we've got a great topic for you today. We've got a series of clips, five clips in total. And obviously you've read the title. The title is Women, When Women Get the Game Twisted. Now, what I mean by that is, or what we mean is, sometimes I think people... Mm -hmm get things misconstrued as far as women in relationships and they 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 get misled by guys wanting bedroom fun from them and women get twisted as far as they, they think that these dudes want long-term relationships mm -hmm. yep and that's not the case i think some women know this deep down mm -hmm. but they just like the attention yeah <laughs> and when you address that you're a hater they're all kind of shaming tactics <laughs> they use mm -hmm. to justify. But um, yeah, man, that's that's just me giving providing you some context in what in what we're talking about. What's your thoughts on it before we play the clips? Well, what you said is true. Um, you know Damn that right. you know that women love attention. Mm -hmm. We love it. <laughs> some people love it a bit more than others. Um, you're going to see that in some of the videos, <laughs> but, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's attention, just attention seeking. Attention is a woman's currency. It is. But we're going to talk about a couple of things. It's a conversation. So we're going to point out what stands out to us and go from there. But without further delay, here's clip number one. I'm here to let you know full well that the whole what one man won't do, six other men will, is not a joke. Because me and man's A stopped talking last week, right? A new man's, we had a little FaceTime date tonight, never met him. Um, man B's coming over tomorrow and C is traveling to me this weekend and then D is taking me on a top golf date. So I don't ever get fucking twisted, you're replaceable. And baby, get over it. Also, if any of you see this, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> that was the end of that clip. Um, Sounds to me, she's hurt. Yeah, she's she hurt, hurt. But whatever, yeah. anyway. <laughs> a few things stood out to me, man. But mm -hmm. um, I'll let you start. What do you think? What's your thoughts on it? My first thought is she sounds hurt. She sounds mm -hmm. bitter. Because from what she's saying, oh, guy A, first of all, all these options... Okay, first of all, okay, you can have options, but mm. like really. Anyway, option A, <laughs> yeah. clearly didn't want to know her like that. No, she didn't oh. want to know him like that. No, she sounds like he didn't want her. That's how it sounds. Okay, let, let, let's play it in the favour of her. Okay. So let's say she didn't want to know that guy like that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm pretty sure she said guy B. If my memory serves me correct. Uh -huh. Pretty sure I put it in my note. But if my memory serves me correct. She said, guy B is mm -hmm. coming over. The one that's coming over is clearly coming over to smash. The other guys mm -hmm. are all giving her resources, mm -hmm. free non-S attention. Mm -hmm. They're not getting nothing. So guy B is the guy that she really wants. I think it's guy C that is the one coming over. I, but anyway, notes, <laughs> but those I, I think guy B is the one yeah. that she had a FaceTime call with. And guy C is the one coming over. Guy D, l listen to what we're saying. Yeah. Guy A, B, C, and D. And, and, and the thing is this, man. <laughs> the thing is this, right? One of my notes is this. In that clip, a lot of women, but in that clip, why do some chicks think um, being a side chick is cute? Because you're not trying to put yourself in pole position for being a wifey. You're 
putting yourself in a position to be a side chick. Why do they think it's cute? Just like you got women crying mm -hmm. on video or social media, let me say, and they think it's cute. You look crazy. Preach. When I see that, <laughs> so I might see it and think, you crazy. Some dudes might say, I want to smash. Still, don't mm -hmm. be my wife for you. So why do they think being a side chick is cute? I don't know. I can't even say it's necessarily just about this era. Mm -hmm. This era, mm -hmm. women. They're not millennials. Can't remember what they are right now. Zennials. They're something like that. And yeah. But it, but it comes from millennials mm. down to zennials, right? It probably goes further than that. But it yeah. It trickles down. No, but mm -hmm. I'm saying the way it trickles, that's the trickling down effect. Mm -hmm. Cause and effect, right? But for me, some, some chicks are born to be garden tools. Mm -hmm. It was written. It's up in the scrolls. <laughs> some chicks are just it's born just... for that. Mm -hmm. Some chicks are born for that. Like, not all women are born to be wives. No. Some women are born to be side chicks linkages. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they missed being wifey because some of them weren't taught wrong. Some of them is not in their loins. Yeah, it's not in their it's nature It's not written in their DNA. Yeah, that's true. But what is written in their DNA is garden tool. <laughs> put in the comments if you agree or you disagree. Yeah. What else do you want to add? I put in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Look how... Okay, women love attention, like mm. we said earlier. But... <clears throat> sorry. If you check her body language, now she had a shirt on. Mm. But she knew to put it to the side to show her tattoo area, to show a bit of skin here, to show, um, I don't know if anyone clocked, but rewind it and watch it again. She repositioned herself further back so that you can see her leg. She purposely do done that. And okay. it's all for attention. But at the same time, you get an attention what kind and of attention? trying to get clout. So let's, let's, let's break that down a little bit, right? What kind of attention do you think she was appealing for? She's clearly appealing for men, men's attention. So sexual attention yeah. she was appealing for, right? Now, what I saw was like one of the oldest tricks or let me say one of the oldest professions in the book. What I mean by that is if we go way back to the mm -hmm. old professions, S professions, women that had tattoos, piercings, they would allure men in with that whole bad girl, but bad in a good way, bedroom mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing now is just a modern version of a girl wearing a shirt, showing some skin, appealing to men. Please look at me. Give me some free non-sexual attention. Yeah. attention. Attention is currency to a woman. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw. So, okay, that dude that you was with, you're now not with him anymore. You're now turning around and saying, oh, like another man's trash is the next man's treasure. I don't think so. No. But she's saying, oh, don't settle. Yeah. Don't settle. It's getting like really out of hand. Oh, you shouldn't settle. There was another podcast we did. Mm. Check it out. I'll put it in the description mm. link and it will be up here at some point in the video. And it was about a woman who had three dates in one day. It's the same yeah. thing. She said, don't settle. And give, give some all context these girls because, are saying okay they all say don't settle because they have this plethora of options right yeah but this girl that we're talking about and mm -hmm. we we'll definitely link that video she had a boyfriend yes. <laughs> by the way so she went on three dates i'm talking was not three dates with her man three dates with separate dudes yeah and she came back home now that segues me into one of my notes right some women are maybe good girlfriends but are not good wives yeah there's a difference it goes back to my earlier point. Some women ain't built for this. No. So you, they might be a good girlfriend. Or they might be a good um, side chick, but they're no, not no, wifey material. It's the same thing. It's mm -hmm. the same thing I'm talking about. Some some women are good girlfriends. Yeah. But they're not marriageable. Mm -hmm. You can be my concubine, mm -hmm. but I can't take you seriously, seriously. Mm -hmm. No. And, and, and there is a difference in between girlfriends and wives. Some yeah. women are not raised to be wives. Some women don't know that some women are happy being, being in the position of a linkage or, or side chick and that's fine by me yeah that's fine by me what do you think well mm. i say a lot of women <clears throat> they want to keep their options open mm. 
and I put four points. They want to have their cake and eat it. I'm sure everyone does, but mm-hmm. that's why they keep it options open. They want to get their back blown out by other guys because that's the only reason. Why would you leave your options open like that if you, mm. that wasn't the case? Um, they don't know how to commit to one man or and are quite disloyal. Mm. Um, and my fourth one is they've been with so many people they don't know how to pair bond anymore. No. No, that's that's a problem. It is a problem. Um I have an example. Mm-hmm. In this era, it's like they don't have any shame if, in what they do. They do. Deep down when they go home, they're crying. Okay. Many many women are on all kind of depression pills mm-hmm. and stuff to get themselves back in sync, happy pills. It's the truth. The reason why I say that, okay, maybe behind closed doors, yeah. they have shame. But what they portray is mm-hmm. like they don't have any shame because they'll make these videos, post it, knowing that millions of people are going to see it. And it's like, do you not have any shame? Well, attention is more valuable than their shame. Yeah. So, But it's a problem. <laughs> so yeah. I have an example here. It says, <clears throat> sorry, there was a girl on TikTok. Yeah. Um, I think I saw it today. Yeah. And... She apparently has slept with 717 men in one year. So it clearly wasn't this year. Possibly it was last year. Mm-hmm. And as crazy as that sounds, girls these days are very scandalous. Yeah. They're very scandalous and you can't really put it past them. And we're generalizing, by the way. Of course. Because you know you're going to put them fools in the comments. <laughs> no, all women. Yeah. That so, way of saying all women. Let me describe it a little bit more. So there was a girl on TikTok. So she has a video and she has openly put her body count on there. So she says throughout the year, this is the amount of men she slept with. So say it starts with, she slept with 10 guys. Later on, 36 guys. Later on, 57 guys. If she slept with 700 guys, 717 guys, right? If that be the case, right? There's 365 days in a year. Mm -hmm. Like, come on now. And, and the thing for me is this, right? Last thing I'll say on this is toxic men to these kind of women are like knights in shining armor. Mm. They love that. Women love emotional turmoil. But then it shows you so much of us need therapy. Yeah. Because I get women are feelings based. Mm-hmm. But come on now, man. That's really, really, I see past the facade. I get mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. I don't want to spend too much more time on that. What else you want to add before we play the next clip? I would just say that in in regards to TikTok, there, it's like it's a trend to expose yourself. That's why I said there's no shame. Because really and truly, if you slept with 717 men in one year, that doesn't account for when you lost your virginity up until now. That's yeah. just for one year. And you... What's the, what's the think, total body count in the end? Exactly. Mm. And you think to yourself, okay, let me record this and put my business, just air it out there. You have no shame. You have zero shame. It's in the culture. It, it it's is. It's in the culture. But Anyways, man, put in the comments, what do you think? What's your thoughts? You know, um, did we hit the nail on the head? But anyways, here's clip number two. Guys, he thinks girls can't have guy they friends. They can't not. You know why? Listen, any little problem we're going to have, you're going to go straight to your guy friend, all right? Mm-hmm. And they're going to take advantage of that. And once, mm-hmm. if we ever break up, God forbid, guess who's going to try to get at you? Who? Your guy friend. No, he's not, because it's not even like that. So uh, how much you want to bet? If it's you not literally, even like that. How much well, you want to bet? I'll literally call him right call now. Him right call him right now. Put him on right right speaker okay. so everybody okay. can see that I'm okay. right. Okay. Good. Hello? What's up? Hey, so me and Davis broke up. I'm kind of, I just want to get, like, a distraction. Do you, okay. can you come over? Hell, hell yeah, send the head. What, you hungry or some shit? <laughs> I <Can> told you. <laughs> um, Welcome. Uh, nothing, I'll call you back. I'm going to send you to Addy, okay? Alright, bye, bye, bye. Uh, bye. I'll block him. I'll block him. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> that was the end of that clip. Um... I'll start. A lot of women keep around 
beta male orbiters and then they front they're good actors she was not to me because <laughs> no. i understand female nature mm -hmm. and i take the time to process then react but what i'm saying and what i'm saying what i mean is this women will front and say he's just my brethren he's my brother he's this he's that i've known him long time i've known him before i known you he mm -hmm. ain't he ain't never tried anything he's my friend isn't it we've linked up bare times my cody you think he don't want to smash now i'm not saying to you <clears throat> there's not a small anomaly a small minority <laughs> not majority a small minority of men mm -hmm. that can be friends with women yeah but there's okay let's say for example if i have female friends right mm -hmm. i might look at it and say right she's my brethren and we cool but if i'm that dude and she that she finds me attractive maybe i'm merit-based maybe the dudes that she's linking they're not up to scratch with me eventually she's going to start to like me mm -hmm. one of us is going to like the other person it's usually the woman mm -hmm. that likes the man especially if he's got his ish together yep so then this girl's sitting here fronting and saying i didn't know she just made one phone call and he was already there some men will stay in a friend zone the beta male orbiter zone they will stay in that place 10 20 30 years just to sniff just to sniff the box this is facts mm -hmm. there's a lot of desperate men out here there is what do you think fellas step your game up if you're one of those men and also just to say make sure you subscribe to our channel like and share our mm -hmm. videos um my thoughts on this is like you said a lot of women okay some women are delusional to that fact but i'm gonna say majority but some are naive i will say yes. some women that's not really seasoned are naive but i'd yeah. say nine out of ten are not yes the majority know exactly what the situation yeah. is they just like to play that little silly game and act as if they don't mm. blatantly see what's going on um don't know why why pretend mm. you know what it is um <clears throat> I have an example. Mm -hmm. You kind of said it already, but I have a challenge for the ladies, right? Call your so-called male friends. Yeah, do the same thing. And say to them, oh, I'm having problems with a guy I'll see in, or I'm having problems with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And you'll see how quick he is to cut. Or you say, oh, I, I need a little bit of company. Yeah, um, yeah could, could I confide in you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, confide in some deep. Uh, uh. <laughs> You'll see how quick mm. he will be making his way, right? And be sure, some, not all of them, but some of them, if they're bright, they will be bringing over a bottle of drink with yeah, them. You exactly. Can, you can lean on their shoulder, what, all right? What, what are they give, getting you wavy for? You can, confide, you can confide in them, all right? And some women, hmm. just like you said, I need a distraction. If they were real friends, you'd be like, nah, I'm all brethren, man. Yeah. I can't go there with you. fix it. And the funny thing, some dudes are naive. Mm -hmm. And they will go, when a woman goes, he's just my friend, he's my brother, he's this, he's that. Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? And he'll go, you know what? Maybe you're right. Okay. Tutus. It's the same guy that you said, that she said was her brethren. Mm -hmm. That is blowing out her back. Yep. That's her That's her new boyfriend. And you're thinking, raw. hold up a second. So when I turned a blind eye to the facts that was in my face, you were the dude that she was confiding in, that she was, that was blowing out her back. Mm -hmm. Oh my days. All that time. <laughs> Fellas, trust me, if you meet a woman and she got many male friends, let me just say this. A lot of women, women don't get on with women. I understand why women want to chill with men. Men are more fun. Women are boring for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, not all, but generally speaking, women can be boring. So I understand why women say I want to chill guys more than they do women because women can be bitchy. I get it. But if you meet a woman, you're dating a woman and she's got many, many guy friends, mm -hmm. take heed, take heed because you're going to be in a situation. You're going to be that guy that may be naive. Okay, he's just your friend. Next minute, she's getting her back blown out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the case most of the time. Mm. You hear mm. stories all the time. You can't deny that. Mm. I'm sure if people really think about it, they know at least one story of that happening. 
whether it's their close friend or someone they know or someone in the grapevine or something they saw on TV. Yeah. They, they've heard heard of that. But yes, let's get to the next video. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely put in the comments what do you think. Did we get it? Did we, did we, did we get it? Was, was we on point? <laughs> Anyways, man, here's clip number three. So we both pay bills, but he pays for all of them because um, my check direct deposits into his account so he can like have all the money in one place and we can save and stuff. And he like has investments that he invests our money into. Um, he gives me an allowance of $100 a week. Like if I need more, I can ask for more, but you know, normally it's just like $100 a week for like food and like random stuff I want to buy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We both pay for stuff, but you know, he handles all the money as the man should. Can I start this one off? Okay. So I actually found a video of um, this lady, forgot her name, but she has a YouTube channel. And I found out that they're quite popular on TikTok, this couple. Okay. And the video that they posted that you just heard or you just watched if you're on YouTube, that they actually made that video as a joke and it wasn't yeah. actually real. So it was a joke. Um, <coughs> was it okay? Was it really a joke? Because I think they they done an interview to some other um, content creator. But um, maybe the backlash because they had a lot of backlash on that video. They did, yeah. So maybe they backtracked mm -hmm. and said, "No, nah, that's not the case." But continue. Say it was the case, and in for some couples that is actually the case. Mm -hmm. Me personally. I don't see it as a problem. And I know a lot of women do see it as a problem because they see it as in, oh, he's controlling, he's this and he's that, and yada, yada, yada. Whatever they think about it, you're entitled to your own opinion. Yeah. Yes. But for me, I don't see what the issue is. Now, let me give you an example. Say she has poor money management and he's better at it. Mm -hmm. And they are a couple. They live together. They're trying to grow, work together together. Um, you know, build a family, build whatever they're building, and say she kind of um spends her money on all sorts of things, which, and which women do, yes, which we do, yes, yeah. <laughs> um, and they are working up to a goal or something. So say they want to buy a house, say they want to do whatever they're doing, right? And she says, okay, cool, I'm gonna give you my check, and you give me an allowance. Obviously, I need to buy stuff, whatever. Do I? What well, you're to saying do. now. Is rubbing a lot of people up the wrong way. The wrong way. Well, okay. That so for some people that's gonna happen. But if you think about it logically, some people that's some people's situation. Mm -hmm. Some people need they don't have that finan financial skills and they need help with it. So if you're trying to build together, it makes sense to give that section to the person who's best at it. Okay, but I agree. But what I'm saying is this, right? Now, if you're in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. first of all, we don't know the dynamic of no. their relationship. We can only speculate. Mm -hmm. But just like you're saying, to piggy bank off that, right? If the guy is better with money management and she's financially illiterate mm -hmm. and they are building together as a couple, mm -hmm. why does my money we share? Your money is your money. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, no, but that's just back, that like we're peddling backwards. One step forward, two steps back. Because that's the stupid. If we're together, shouldn't all the money go in one collective, one pot? Why yeah. does your money you spend on, let's just, on, on weaves. Whatever you want. On yeah. weaves mm -hmm. and wigs, makeup, getting yourself done up, right? Why does your money go on that one? Just like you're saying, we can build. We can buy a house. We can put down on a mortgage. We can save for something. Mm -hmm. We, we, we. But in this, I heard I. I. And the thing is this, right? It's funny when we when we um, rewind to 50, 60 years ago when it's okay when a man went out, worked his ass off, brought home the money, gave to the wife, she paid all the bills. Mm -hmm. It was fine when that was a situation. Mm -hmm. Lord forbid now that the woman comes home and she gives the man the money. It's okay to give a man a baby before marriage. 
Mm-hmm. It's okay to give a man your womb, to give him the box, give him a child, but Lord forbid you give him ten pound. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a problem, by the way, ladies, because a lot of you, if you change the dynamic and say you meet a guy, you're going on a date and you are like, no, I'm not going to pay for nothing for you. Say you go to the corner shop, for example, and you want to drink as a female, you want to drink and he's waiting for you or whatever. And he may want to drink, but you just buy yourself one. But the thing is this, the thing is this. They're okay for the man to be traditional and they're just not willing to be traditional. No. And that's a problem. Yes. And for me, if you're going into a relationship with I, 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 I Mm -hmm. in mind and the guy's thinking we, that's not going to work. No. Most relationships are, the reason why they break down is because of finances. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's always the case. And marriages too. But marriages, they break down because of the finances. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand finances. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking of yourself or his money, blah, blah, blah. Maybe that little extra money that you earn because some women, most women have to work. Yeah. Because not all men are rich. Yep. So what I'm saying is that why should he have to work his ass off to bring home the bacon and you just spend your money? If all the money can get you lot into a position, if your money can go into a pot, my money can go into a pot and we can build, Mm -hmm. why not do that? Yeah. Why were people in uproar? And for me, I'll say this. That's the problem in the black community. That's our problem. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying to you, this doesn't happen in other communities. I'm just saying that, wow, you give the man the box before giving him £10. And these are all external things that we value. Mm -hmm. Internal things. We say, hey, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. That's just boring. But when it comes to external things, money, worship, things, Give 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 shorty money. Shorty holler where the ball is at. That's the Kanye West lyrics. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Put in the comments. What do you think, man? People was in uproar about this video. Yep, there was. And I think it was I think it was sad, as in pathetic. But yeah, the couple did come out and say, yeah, man, it was a, it was a joke. But mm-hmm. then these things happen all day long. So it's okay when I buy a woman a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. But Lord forbid you buy me something back. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be one sided. I have an example and um, I'll try to link it if I can get the video. Mm. But it was of a group, um, a channel called Backchat London. Mm. And there was a girl. You might see it going around. Mm. There was a girl and she was saying basically she would never buy her boyfriend, husband, whatever, a birthday present Mm. or a Christmas present. Or it doesn't matter what occasion it is. She ain't trying to buy him nothing. Yeah. She just wants, she wants everything. She wants him to get her everything. She wants to live that lifestyle of um, not paying for nothing, literally. Mm-hmm. But she can't even, you can't even get your man a birthday present. Are we being for real? Just like you said, yeah. you don't want to give £10, but you give him your box all day. Yeah. But you can't even buy your man a birthday present. But that's what I'm saying. You value, you value external things. In our community... We don't value system, order and structure. Yeah. We value all things that are external, things that don't mean ish when you break it down to the nuts and bolts. Yeah. And and for me, that's why, how as a community, how do we move forward? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying to you, it's just us that do that, but look at where we are. Yeah. They predict, was it 2053? Don't quote me, but I swear it's around that number. They say we're going to be broke. Yep. How do Fully we, broke. I swear building communities is communities of family. It is. People say, oh, uh, let's just say single mothers are going to say, oh, me and my kids are a family. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the nuclear family. Mm -hmm. Man, wife, family. Man, wife, children. That's family. Yeah. Yeah, of course I've got family. Yeah, my cousin over there, this person over there, that person over there. Mm -hmm. But what about your family? How are we going to sustain normal life if that's the mentality? Yep. Just like we was watching another podcast from, what's his name? Coach Greg Adams. Uh Uh-huh. And he played a clip from 19 something. Yeah. I can't remember what year it was, but it was a long time ago. Right. Mm. And there was, he was, there was an interview happening. Um, a man interviewing, uh, let's say 10 black females. Yeah. And some of them had kids. Some of them didn't. I'm guessing. And they were always asking them questions. Mm. And it's like, do you think a man is 
basically is it any point of having a man in a family unit or whatever they're like no i don't see the point of having a man and they will say things like oh i've um i didn't have a father basically so i don't a see a, a point in having yeah, a so, man in a relationship so basically having a man it's problem and it's problematic and i don't need i don't need no man, no man. even the, the white interviewer let me highlight that was like so you believe you don't need a man and what i'm saying this whole gynocracy of these bad women these um let me put a nice word on it these feminists the the, the they woven the supremacy into the black into the black culture right uh-huh. and now we're the only all women are the only women that believe that they don't need no men this is the gynocracy now every other culture believes there's a that there, there's a there's a level there's made in our, in our culture black culture the women run it yeah put in the comments if you disagree right they can talk about oh we live in a patriarchy system blah 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 not in the black community <laughs> everything mm-hmm. is the reverse of things yeah everything's the other way around up is down down is up right mm-hmm. but there's no system order and structure and with that mentality that's left in place how do we thrive as a people that's why we're failing as a people and that's all i'm saying put mm. in the comments if you disagree with me and don't forget to like share and subscribe i don't know if you want to add anything more because mm, that, that was no. a touchy one but you know, <laughs> it was because uh, you see it all the time and i think it's mm-hmm. effed up man i think it's effed up the the fact that they were like look at his face in some of com- some of the comments yeah look at his face look at him he knows that he's playing a player. Oh, do you need help sis well, or they're twice. getting loads of dms yeah of, they're like they're like blink twice just in case like is if he, you is need he, help is yeah. he holding you under duress <laughs> ridiculous anywho mm. let's get to the next video mm, mm. yeah so we're gonna play video clip number four and then we're gonna come back she cheated on me on christmas so i did this Cause this my stuff. Yeah, this my. Yeah, here's your shit. Get get your and get the out. What? Get the out. Get your and get the out. For what? Get the not. Nah. Who who is Zo? Who? Zo. I don't know. Zo, so you saying. stop playing that. The dude already showed me the message. I'm I'm on it. Just I be don't real. know Zo. What are you talking about? You don't know Zo. So if I hit him up, you you not gonna know him. My coworker. Oh yeah, now, now you remember, huh? You know him. You know, you've been around, so that's my coworker. That's like my friend. That's like my partner. I, I know his girlfriend. And yeah, everything. well, do his girlfriend know that you? F- him? F- do your girlfriend know he f- you f- your partner? Quote we, unquote. We f- him? Yeah, my oh, brother, like my bro. That's the see. I know how that game. Just look. Just get. Your, it's cool. I'm not tripping. Get your sh- and get out. Just get like your you, thing. You, you, Bro, get you your thing. You're gonna go by with somebody. Get else your thing. things and get the f- out, please. You it's don't. Simple. You're gonna do this on Christmas Eve. It's not. It's not actually Christmas Eve. It's, it's actually past twelve. I waited for for Christmas on a dot to start this off. It's it's twelve fifteen. You can look. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Since you want to be a little <laughs> Merry Christmas. Get your thing <laughs> get out. You serious? Get the f- out. Go. Babe. Get no. Watch the. F- do not. Do not. Do not walk to me. Do not touch me, bro. Just get out. You're not even giving me. A I, I'm not giving you up. nothing. Just go, man. Go wherever you going. Can we talk about? No, it? we can't talk. I'm not telling camera none of that. Get the f- out. Spend on you. That ain't. That don't even compare what I spent on you. Get the f- out. Go wherever you're going. Like, Get the f- move. Go wherever you're going. Okay, that was the end of um, clip four. <laughs> Her face <laughs> was priceless. Her expressions, the mannerisms, it said it all. Mm-hmm. She, you know, when someone's, you're watching one of those tutorials on when a woman's lying or someone's doing X, Y, Z or something negative, she broke all rules in the book. <laughs> The guy was right to record it because sometimes in situations (laughs) like that, where the woman is caught out before you know it, the police is called and then you end up in cuffs. Mm -hmm. You end up in a situation for something that she's done because more, more time than not women don't like to hold accountability. So don't get me wrong. It was humorous as far as wrapping up her own clothes in presents it's christmas you, th- th- does that make it any any better any worse like really seriously it doesn't change anything exactly then she's like oh zo or so i can't remember the dude's name but when my man brought up the name she's like who my brother my partner when you hear those things run what's your thoughts why <laughs> the question is 
<laughs> to her or to women that do that was it worth it was getting your coochie seen to skinning out to the next man was it worth it now if you check the dynamic of of that video you can see clearly that this guy is in his masculine frame mm -hmm. he he don't seem in from from the video he don't seem like a beta male because beta males will not have kicked her out right mm. so if you check it he has found out that she's a cheater yeah and he went as far as wrapping up her clothes as presents <laughs> <laughs> but here's that go you need to go yeah get out i don't care mm -hmm. what you say right now get the f out there's nothing really to be said when you when you think about that like women often often will have beta male orbiters around and mm -hmm. they'll keep certain men in their section mm -hmm. for various reasons you have women that will have a dude for breakfast lunch and dinner and then she have a dude that eats her out another dude that lays down d another dude that takes her shopping she got a sugar daddy on the left she got another dude that that she can confide in listen to be the ideal guy for most women you 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 gotta be all kinds of man in one mm -hmm. and as far as my guy he didn't take the bs he found out what she was doing cool you're not less of a man no don't and, and a lot of men will be like raw first question they ask is he better than me yeah <laughs> don't ask that question fellas don't do that don't do that please <laughs> listen don't let her be in a garden tool don't let don't don't look at that and see raw that you're that's her than. bad mm -hmm. that's her bad don't put that pressure on you mm -hmm. listen sometimes you might see look garden tools right they might be cool people is like she's a might be a cool person maybe not decent because she wouldn't be cheating if she was decent mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is that she might be a cool person mm -hmm. but she's just not a, a wife yeah she might be a linkage and that, those are things linkage do if i'm dating and, and i'm chatting to a couple of women i'm sure those women might say right they're chatting to me chatting to the next man even though they might say right you know what i like you the most they always keep around their options yep this dude is someone that she was working with and then she goes my brother my partner blah 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 then he goes okay does his girlfriend know because she highlighted he has a girlfriend mm -hmm. huh, that won't stop in you continue no it did not <laughs> stop her at all mm -hmm. i would just say most of the time like i said before none of it is worth it mm -hmm. and in this situation i believe me personally that he was a good enough man for her and she okay like i said earlier mm -hmm. I'm not just going to say women, but most people like to have their cake and eat it. She clearly wanted to do the same thing. She wants to have mm -hmm. a man at home and she wants to do what she's doing. But was it worth it at the end? And <clears throat> women will find a good man, actually get one, actually have a family with one. Oh, now she wants to cash Thank out. Thank you. You done it. You done it before i need you to do it but it's all good <laughs> it's all good you will complain and moan later on in life and say oh there's no good oh, men no, she wants to cash out. thank you again <laughs> mm -hmm. there's no good men where Preach. where have all the good men gone yeah or whatever out whatever else sorry and you will complain and say, oh, where's all the good men gone? When you had one or when you had the opportunity to have one, there was all there blatantly in your face. Mm -hmm. You didn't want them because you thought She's they wasn't like, good enough for you at mm -hmm. that time. But when you're washed up and old and wash out and wrinkly and whatever else, now you want to cash out and go back to the guy that you knew who was good for you. But then you cheated on him. For, for what reason? What did you get out of it? Just a beat. I guess. That's all you when, got when out it of it. to Pookie and Rere, Brads and Chads. Mm -hmm. A lot of women like toxicity, innit? They like those men. I told you toxic men are like knights in shining armor. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women. But sometimes the guy is not necessarily... Uh, sometimes the guy is, say, a Pookie and Rere somewhat or, or whatever. And the guy's not actually bad for her or she doesn't actually have a problem with him like that. It's just that she's for the streets. Yeah. It's just that she's for the streets. 
that's one of the things I put here. Um, and for me, at the end of the day, you can't turn a, a garden tool into a housewife, which I've said earlier. And I will keep saying that hopefully it will have a knock on effect and people will click on and say, you know what? It's true, man. Dating mm -hmm. today in Western society is not the thing for me. Um, I would say a lot of men want to have families and have legacies and have relationships mm -hmm. more than women today. But the culture today in Western society, I'll say no. So you find that a lot of men go to different countries where it is more traditional mm -hmm. and there's more of a patriarch where there's a system that actually works. So yeah. you find a lot of men getting their passports and leaving. And I get that, man. But last thing I'll say on that is this, <laughs> um, guys, do you think that the people in the comments, people in the comments, do you think the guy was wrong for kicking her out during the festive seasons? Should he have, should he have did it the way he did it? Was he wrong for doing it? Was he right? Put in the comments, should he have kicked her out during the festive seasons or should he have just, I don't know, longed it out? I don't know. Can I say, Go can on. I answer that? You can ask, you can put I, your I would like to give my views on that. Mm -hmm. First of all, who gives a beep? Mm -hmm. If it's Christmas, if it's your birthday, if it's your anniversary, if it's mm -hmm. for me, I don't care what season it is. I don't care if I find out that you have been doing the nasty with other people and you, and then on top <laughs> of it, you want to disrespect me by saying, who's that? Oh, my brother. Oh, my, my, my Cody. Oh, my. <laughs> Come on now. So to me, you're in, insulting my intelligence. A, a, you're being disrespectful here. Mm -hmm. So on top of it, you're being disrespectful on top of me finding out that you're you're a cheater. And for me, it's like it doesn't matter what occasion it is. From when I find out certain so, things and you're in my house, goodbye. I don't so care what day it is. And what you're saying is kick her to the curb. Kick her no to the curb. What day, what time. It don't matter. She got to go. Bye. All right, people put in the comments. <laughs> Would, was he right? Was he wrong? Should he have kicked her out during the festive seasons can i just say one more thing on that mm -hmm. the ladies will have a problem with this not the men you may get one or two of those guys but it's the ladies who will have a problem then we'll with... say this then we'll say this ladies if that was your son what should he have done <laughs> you see how fast they're going to come with the correct answer so if that some was your them, son some of them won't okay we know that we know they've been disingenuous mm -hmm. but the ones that's realistic so ladies if that was your son what would you tell him to do? Mm -hmm. Fellas, if that were you, what would, what you, would you do? Put in the comments. Yes. Let us know. Yeah. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Anyways, we're going to play the final clip for today. Then we're going to close out. So without further delay, here's clip number five. When your boyfriend takes you to the Chanel store for Christmas. Can I get this? You know, whatever you want, man. Probably never going to financially recover from this, and we're going to be eating chicken finger for the next five weeks. He's buying it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Such a What's your thoughts? silly, silly, silly man. Mm -hmm. Silly, silly, silly. Mm -hmm. Very silly. You would rather, you'd prefer to be broke, have no money, eating chicken fingers or whatever, whatever the hell he said, just so she can have a bag. Off the rip. There was no respect. No. Now, respect is like love to men. Love is love to women. She didn't respect him. She didn't care for his finances. No. What I saw just from that situation, it was a recipe for disaster. Yeah. What do you think? Listen, my guy was trembling. Yeah. Taking that money out. Oh. Trembling, literally. If you're on YouTube, you've seen it already. If you didn't see it, rewind and watch it again. You'll yeah. see his literally trembling. For those who's listening to just by audio, go onto our YouTube channel and you will see, see his the visuals. trembling paying for this bag. Now, for me, it's just a bag. If it's going to put you in financial debt, it's not worth it. It's not what I may want it badly. Like, why, I really want this bag. Why don't some men... Say no. Yeah. Because some women are going to push and let's call it a shit test. And that what I mean by that is women put you through these measures mm -hmm. and these we tests do. to prove 
what category they should put you in to prove if you're weak or you're strong. Yeah. He should have just shown strength and just said, no, I can't afford this. Mm -hmm. And don't let her shame you, give you that sign language and shame you into buying that bag for her. No. Because Brad and Chad, Pookie and Ray Ray, they come around. They ain't got to pay a penny. Mm -hmm. There's you spending thousands of pounds or enough money to, to leave you in a financial problem just because she wants to have a bag that she even going to have no money in. Mm -hmm. Say no. Don't let a woman push you and prod you into doing things. And that's why I said there's no respect. Because if no. it's me, I don't care if a woman says what you broke, what you, a real man would shut the F up. That's me. Mm -hmm. That's me. I would say this. She said, oh, can I get that bag? He said, whatever you want, babe. Mm. At the same time as her having no respect for his finances, he should not offer to get something when he knows full well he cannot afford it. He don't have respect it for makes himself. no sense. What he was doing was seeking her validation yeah. through finances. So let's say, for example, a man don't scrub up to where he should be. Then he, he uses finances and other external things as an extension of himself. Yeah. Trying to... Um, trick her into liking him mm -hmm. which a lot of men do they seek women's validation where women should seek the man's validation and that's how you keep her in a position of always wanting you that's how you convey to women i'm that guy you do that because you don't give a ish about them you do what you do your purpose comes first mm -hmm. but what he's saying is what you want comes first and yeah. women are emotional based so today she might feel i want that bag tomorrow she wants something else but yeah. all i know is the bottom line is this Brad, Chad, Pookie, Rebe, Kung Fu, shut up. Lay the fuck down, man. Oh my God, I love this. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, bedroom fun. Yep. Back blown out. You're going to be upset. What do you think? Yeah, you're going to be upset. And mm -hmm. he's in a financial deficit now. I bought the bag for her. She's happy. I understand in relationships, right? Men are want to should i say provide protects all the peas yeah and that's one of my points they, by the way. <laughs> and they men you can correct me if i'm wrong but men want to provide for their woman protect their woman in difficulty yes. whatever the case is um and genuinely genuinely want wants his woman to be happy yes so clearly that's what he wanted to do in regards to making her happy Mm -hmm. But there's ways in doing things. This way was the wrong way. He has feelings. And I'll say this, fellas, protect your meat. As in your money, energy, attention and time. So your money, clearly he didn't he didn't protect Have, that. Yeah. And you led with that. When you mm -hmm. lead with that, you finish. I've seen this happen personally so many times. Next minute, the dude that ain't even got nothing is, is with your chick. Yeah. You're providing energy to a chick where why are you putting time into a woman that's not putting that much time into you? Yeah. Attention. Listen, let's be realistic. I'm dating a woman. I I'm not giving you free attention for nothing. There's always something behind it. It's not business. Well, it is in a way, somewhat. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And time. My time is precious. And for me, why give her the four Ps? Now, typically simps, lo <coughs> lower men. Lower men simps. I would, I would, I say this. Men vet with the four P's in order to see if I should wife with this chick. Simps will say, I'm not vetting with nothing. I'm going to take her, mm -hmm. whether she's good or bad, because I don't get it enough. Mm -hmm. I don't get it enough. So I'm willing to not set no standards. She set standards for me. It is what it is. What's your thoughts? Then we're going to talk about the Jezebel spirit. Oh, oh, uh -huh. oh, it's going to get saucy up in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Look, I, I agree with what you're saying. I would say for the fellas, don't don't do stuff like this. It's not you're not putting yourself in a good position. And she just is going to be like, yeah, she's happy for the bag. <laughs> but she's thinking it's so silly. And yeah. and she's thinking, I ain't in no chicken flipping chicken drummers or chicken strips with you. But, but I, women, I'm gonna go to the next guy okay. and eat proper. But women will eat proper from a next guy, but yeah. they will accept scraps from Pookie and Ray Ray. Yeah. 
What's the dynamic here? Now let's talk about the Jezebel spirit. Now, from a biblical perspective, Jezebel and King Ahab. Ahab was one of the first simps because he had Jezebel dictating his every move. Man didn't rate him. This dude was conveying to me Ahab's spirit, which was one of the first simps. Ahab was a king. The king puts the queen or puts an, a regular woman in queen status. Mm -hmm. He's that guy. But no, he had Jezebel, like just in this situation, dictating his every actions because he was thinking, am I getting some JJ tonight? Mm -hmm. You stupid. <laughs> Come on, man. What happened, man? Put in the comments. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Ahab was one of the first simps. <laughs> Jezebel did what she did. Man didn't rate the king no more because of Jezebel. What's your thoughts? Fellas, think it through. Oh. Before you go to that cash machine and trembling because you're putting your card But in it comes there. from scarcity. Yeah, It comes from definitely. A, a scarcity mindset because mm -hmm. he felt, if I don't pay for this bag, mm -hmm. if I don't buy this woman this thing, she's going to leave me. She's going to go with someone else and what am I going to do? Do you You're know, always going to be comparing yourself to the next man if that's the situation. Do you know what it reminds me of? What's that? We're done another podcast mm -hmm. and it was about a guy and his complaint that people are calling him a cuck. A beta male cuck. Yeah, now the, with that white him, dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to tag that in the description as well. <laughs> now with him now, he wanted to please his woman so much that he would allow her to sleep with other men in their house, by the way. Mm. Sleep with other men while he sleeps on the sofa. It's <laughs> like the same thing. So you, you, um, you want to please... He he doesn't yeah. believe that he can do better than this woman. So he, he not see the problem. And the, and people viewing this is probably thinking, wow. But seriously, we, we, we will tag that for yeah. you and tell us what you think from that video as well. But... This dude that like, like to like to go off the context of what you're saying. This dude doesn't have a problem. He's with a woman in a committed relationship. Well, he is anyway. <laughs> yeah. And she has him on the sofa while she has another man in the room re on a regular basis. Yep. And he doesn't believe he's a better male. He doesn't see the problem in this. I don't want to shame him or call him any names or anything. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying... This dude in this clip is doing this on his own accord. Exactly. Same Nobody like with the other guy. force him into this. Yeah. And what I'll say is this. Some of us, we do need to go through the motions. We've all been through chicks play us. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say to you, I'm perfect. Listen, I've had chicks play me, do all kinds of stuff, right? And I had to learn. Mm -hmm. I had to learn. And sometimes this is why if, if some men, you, I'll say this. You have to date a certain amount of chicks. You have to have been around the block a little bit mm -hmm. to understand female nature a little bit so you can know how to maneuver in this relationship game. And some men ain't had enough chicks under their belt. Yeah. But they talk or they feel, but when it comes down to it, they're not really ready yet. Yeah. They're steam fishing, they're back done. It <laughs> is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying there's some dudes that go through the motions and still don't learn. Yep. And still don't learn. Nope. Because they believe in the hope strategy and they're thinking, nah, man, I got hope that she ain't doing X, Y, Z. Even though the truth is staring them and slapping them in the face. Yeah. They say, nah, man, not my girl. Look, fellas, think higher of yourself. Mm. Don't let these women do these things to you to where you're mm. in a negative. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do not do that. So yeah. if, if it's a thing of you need to do therapy... Or, you know, you need to work on yourself. Yeah. Do that. But don't let women run yeah. rings around you. Some, like Some people, some dudes, they just didn't get the assignment. No. And I understand. It is what it is. But if they want to keep going around in a circle, chasing the dragon, a dog chasing its tail, that's up to them. That's my final thing on it. Yeah. Um, put in the comments. What did you think? Did he have the um, the Ahab spirit as in the first simp? Did Jezebel <laughs> have, um, was she Hold the puppeteer? Was she mm. the puppeteer and he was a puppet on her strings? What did you think? And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
and we'll tag those videos that we mentioned. What else do you want to add before we close out, man? Uh, I have nothing to add. I think I've said it all. Okay, okay. <laughs> was a good podcast today. It was. Anyways, we're going to close out. Again, I'm your host, S Banks, and I'm joined with my co-host, JD Network. Peace. Peace. Peace.